everyone my name is mridul and welcome or welcome back to my channel so finally we're doing a makeup tutorial you guys have been asking me to do a makeup related video for the longest time and the only reason why i haven't been doing it is because i personally don't enjoy making makeup tutorials only because i wear the same makeup every time i film like it's this very makeup that i'm wearing i do experiment for like pictures for instagram but not so much when i'm filming youtube videos so it doesn't make sense for me to make tutorials that's what i feel but it's been a while since i've showed you guys my signature makeup look so i thought we could do that to be completely honest my signature makeup look hasn't really changed as such of course there are like a few things that have changed the products have changed as well so it made sense for me to do an updated version so if you're interested in seeing how i get this look right here then keep on watching the first product that I'm going to use is the Mama Earth Skin Plump Serum. It's so important to create like a beautiful base for your foundation to sit on top of. So I'm going to layer a bunch of skincare products. The first one being this serum. Next, I'm going to go in with a moisturizer. I'm using the Face Shop's Chia Seed Moisturizer. Keep in mind that all my products keep switching. Since I do own so much skincare, I like to switch things up. But I'm just showing you my absolute favorite products. So this is layer number two. I'm done with moisturizer next i'm gonna go in with an eye cream this is the bye bye dark circles cream by mama earth um i just use this under my eyes because i use a lot of concealer so it's really important for me to hydrate under my eyes and lastly i'm gonna go in with some sunscreen now since i do film with artificial lights it's really important for me to use sunscreen sun protection all over my face and my neck just gonna take my time and rub this into my skin also i let this sit for like a couple of minutes and then i go in with foundation i'm starting off with the faces canada's ultimate pro foundation along with which i'm gonna use the maybelline's 24 hour full coverage foundation all the shades are gonna be linked in the description box below so i usually mix like two foundations together and my foundations keep changing again since i do own so many foundations i like to keep using different ones this is my like favorite combo when i'm filming in order to blend all of this together i use the giorgio professionals sponge and then i'm just pressing the product in and doing my best that i can at blending by the way i do have an entire video on like base makeup how to achieve like a flawless base so i'm gonna make sure to link that video as well in the description box below but this is one step that i'll take the most amount of time with because if your base is flawless i feel like your entire makeup just looks so much better so take your time and really press the product in never drag always bounce the sponge on your face also a few spots that i feel like people take tend to miss are their hairline their ears um their necks decolletage i like to apply foundation everywhere just to have that even base once i'm happy with my blending i move on to concealer today i'm going to be using the la girl pro concealer i usually go in with the maybelline's age rewind concealer but i'm out of it so this is what i have for now so i'm just going to use it under my eyes my chin uh, my forehead and the bridge of my nose this concealer is all right when it comes to filming but the age rewind is just something else it's one of the best concealers that i've used but as i said this is all i have so i'm working with what i've got in order to set all of this in place i'm going to use the maybelline's fit me powder i usually go in with two like colors 25 and 50 i mix both of those shades together and just set my under eyes and everywhere where i've applied concealer onto bronzing slash contouring my face i'm using the hula bronzer by benefit i have been trying to find a bronzer in like the drugstore uh, for the longest time but i just haven't been able to find the right one so this is what i have this is a little bit expensive but this is one of the most beautiful contour slash uh, bronzing shades for indian skin tones so i just use this under my cheekbones also on my jawline i warm up my temples and whatever's left on the brush i'll use it on the sides of my nose to kind of contour it blush i use the wet n wilds color icon blush always tap off the excess on your hand like how i'm doing right here and then apply it on your face this is just going to help you not look like a clown so yeah i just apply it on the apples of my cheeks i've been also applying a little bit on my nose just for funsies and then i go in with the sponge again just to absorb any extra product because i just hate the look of like 
too much blush highlighter i am using the maybelline's master chrome highlight this is very very intense so i'm just going to use this on the high points of my face now when i apply this initially it might look like a stark line almost but i'm doing that on purpose don't worry um, i'm going to blend it in eventually i also apply this on my cupid's bow the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose <laughs> you guys know i'm obsessed with my nose highlight i'll also go in with my finger and apply a little bit extra on my chin and finally i'll go in with my beauty blender again and blend everything and just melt it into my skin that's all for base makeup i'm gonna move on to my eyebrows so for my eyebrows i've been using the miss claire's eyebrow cake and i start off by using the brown shade using the brush that comes along with the product i just start off by outlining my eyebrows and then just filling them in i also do add a little bit of an extra arch do let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make like a dedicated eyebrow tutorial i could do that for my igtv for sure then i'll go in with the dark brown shade and i'll only use the dark brown shade on the tail of my eyebrow and by the way if you've noticed i do not touch the front part of my eyebrow because i'll just go in with the brush and brush it out um because i don't like it to be harsh it needs to be kind of like a natural ombre almost so that's it for the brows i'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution sofax palette excuse me the packaging is very very dirty um i'm gonna start off by using this brown sort of a color like a pukey brown almost and i'm using that as a transition shade so i'm just gonna dust it all over in like a windshield wiper motion then i'll go in with this orange and dusting off the excess i'll just work this into my crease again i take my time with the blending and then with whatever's left i kind of like to flick it out almost because i'm trying to like elongate my eyes you'll see because of the wing liner that i do and then this palette also has some really beautiful highlighting shades so i like to mix these two shades together and use them in the inner corners of my eyes and then i also like to intensify my highlight with the same two shades so i'll reapply my highlighter because why not to create the classic wing liner i'm going to be using the nykaa's black magic eyeliner now i own a lot of eyeliners so this is the one that i'm currently trying to use up it's actually a really really nice eyeliner very black and the brush that it comes with is also very nice so i just like to go in and make a very intense wing liner you guys have seen me doing this quite a few times again if you want a tutorial let me know i could do that so once i'm done making the basic wing i am going to go into my inner corners and repeat the same process um this trend is called the foxy eye liner i think that's what you call it this just like really elongates your eyes and gives it that sultry look so that's what i'm doing creating like a tiny triangle in the inner corners now while my lash glue dries i'm going to go in with this lip liner this is by pack and this is in the shade mauve so i do overline just a tad bit of course you don't have to you don't need to do that it's just my personal preference so i like to do that especially when i'm filming and my lip combos keep changing to be very honest i'm going to be making like a dedicated video on my lipstick favorites so stay tuned but today i'm going in with the nykaa's madras kapi so using that all over my lips this formula by nykaa is so lightweight but very very pigmented as you can see i really like this range so i'm going to go in with the same range ka lipstick in the shade bombay this is more like a pink key sort of a color and i use this in the centers of my lip because mujhe laga bahut zyada brown ho gaya tha so just to kind of neutralize it i added some pink so by this point my lash glue has dried by the way i use the miss claire's lash glue this is the one it's the dark tone one i've been using it for a very very long time and the lashes that i use are by rene um that fairy one you guys have heard me talking about this pair of lashes for way too long so we're going to move on to mascara this is my favorite mascara this is by smashbox it's their super fan mascara i'm just using that to coat my top and bottom lashes now i'm going to go back in with the concealer the la girl concealer and use that to highlight my lips and using my fingers just blending it all out and yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video a lot of you guys have been requesting me to recreate this look so i hope this was helpful i'm going to make sure to link all the products that i used or even mentioned in today's video in the description box below don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell to get notified every single time i post a new video follow me on my instagram and follow simba lifestyle i'll see you very soon in my next video bye